What's going on everyone? A lot of you may have seen on Monday or just my past video, I went to uh, an auto show for the first time and I made a montage video. And I really wanted to give you tips on kind of shooting cars and what to look for in a car show. As, as I said, I went through it the first time and I want to give my experience to you and give you guys some tips because I know not everyone's a car person. Like I'm not necessarily a car person, but who doesn't love looking at a nice Lambo or Porsche or anything like that. So here are some quick tips to look for when you go into those shows. Even if you want to just go to have some fun, here we go. So my friend called me last minute to uh, go to a car show with him in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and it's one of the biggest shows that they hold. You know, all the major brands have their cars there, and there's some sweet custom cars there. So last minute, I decided, you know, what to look for, what do I do, what kind of gear to bring. So I decided I wanted to bring uh, a monopod, so that way I could do some videos. I said, as you saw, I did some video, so I'm going to bring a monopod. And, um, you know, I have my D7000, which is recording this now because that's my video camera, but I also wanted to use it for its crop sensor capabilities. So that way I get a little bit more reach out of my 24 to 70 lens because I heard it's hard to get, you know, directly up front of the camera if it's extremely busy. So I decided to gamble and go that route. And as I said, I had my 24 to 70 lens and I had a light panel if I needed it for the low light. So I really expected this place to be extremely dark where I needed to throw in a lot of light, use some high ISO, shoot a 2.8. So I was going prepared. Once again, that's why I brought the monopod. So there are some things that I decided when I was going. It's really important to look on the website wherever you're going. And this could be for anything in general. If you, even if you're going to tape an event like you know like maybe a VidCon or something like that and see look at their frequently asked questions because a lot of them are can we videotape and can we bring cameras so one of the one, one of the things is the one of the answers was yes they encourage it completely but they didn't go really in depth and detail and contacting wasn't that easy so when I got there uh, you know they do a quick check your bag to make sure you have everything they did a hand check but they didn't allow me to bring my monopod in as it classified it a weapon or something like that. So I had to check it in with like my jacket. So keep that in mind. I guess some places will, but when I went into the convention center in Philly, uh, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, they didn't allow me to bring my monopod. So that was, that's why, you know, I had a little bit of shaky video because it's all handheld. So that's just something you got to keep in mind, something you got to keep in counter, but I didn't let that, you know, mess up my day. So then I was like, okay, well, you know what? I just got it. You got to do what you got to do with what you have. I was actually shocked when I went in and I noticed that the lighting wasn't terrible, but I did notice a bad, like a green hue coming off the lights. Like the white balance wasn't going to be right. So I had to mess up my camera a lot and you still, I'll, uh, I'm in, in the description, I'll throw a link to the, I made a Flickr set of them. I think there's like 20 images that I put that I really liked that you could see, you know, some of the flaws in them and some things that worked with what happened. So one thing you're going to notice is, well, you're not going to notice because I took it out in the images, but one of the huge things is that it is lower light. So I was using a 640 ISO with my D7000. I think I was shooting at really like a 60th of a second for uh, photography. So it was really on the low end because I wanted to keep a lower shutter. I just wanted to keep it around that and without risking, uh, you know, kind of shutter shake or anything like that. So I was doing that, but for video, I was a 30th of a second because I was letting, I wanted to let in a lot of light. Um, you know, it's still maintain the ISO because when it goes above a thousand sixteen hundred to me I don't like to use that. It doesn't look good with the d7000 So I was trying to keep the quality to uh, you know, it's maximum in my opinion So when you go into a car show, it is a room full of people. Well, how in the heck do you make that interesting? It's actually really difficult So look for my main thing and this is what I would do if I went to go back again Look for detail shot looks for candid shots You know, maybe just cool expressions that kids have there is a spectrum of age range there You have young to like 70 80 year olds looking at cars the older cars the hot rods everything like that so kind of look for candid moments but look for the detail shot especially in like the older vehicles you know some of the uh, the lines that they have especially with their tailgates and fins and everything like that and look at the you know the brake the calibers and all that kind of stuff look for the detail shots that's what makes things interesting and makes you stand apart but also one of the huge thing instead of just taking a regular photo straight up with the car try a different angle out i'm going to show you some of the as i said um when i first went there i didn't know exactly what to expect and what to do 100 percent so I learned you just got to change the perspective up. You got to try to minimize the people in the background because it does kind of kill the shot. Even though you're at a car show, there's not much you can do. Here are a couple pictures where I'm going to put up where um, basically I wanted to show you, you know, the typical kind of shot you take. And then maybe I did one, one of my favorite ones is, um, it was by the Hyundai booth with the, there was a blue car on a platform and I was able to get low, uh, you know, compose it really well put the Hyundai up top and that looked really, really good in my opinion. So those are some of the things you can look out for. You got to learn how to make things interesting. You're going to have to learn how to, you know, how to go in low light without having maybe a monopod or like a shoulder rig if you're doing video or something like that. Cause there was a lot of people there. There's a lot of people with cameras and there'll be a lot of people in your way, but I'm going to tell you the, 
the biggest assumption I made, which really got me, and I already kind of mentioned it, and that was using crop sensor. If I would have brought my D700, my full frame camera, I would have been able to get more room. My problem was I got too close to the um, to the car. So when I was getting up front, um, you know, I was able to get in front of the cars you see in some of the photos, especially in the Flickr link, if you're looking at that, or if you go to look that out, uh, you know, I was right by the hood, you know, I could have got some really great stuff, but then there was stuff where I was cropped because I couldn't get back far enough because there was people there. I assumed it was going to be the other way around where I needed some more reach and I didn't. So you really keep that in mind when you go there. And I know a lot of people who are going there are going to have, you know, kit lenses, 18 to 55 and crop sensor lenses. You know, even at 18 millimeters, you would have had a better shot than I was at 24, even though it's not that much of a difference. But um, it's something you could do. Change up your perspective. Go low to the ground. Who cares if you look like a tourist, which, uh, you know, you, you might hear people say. Um, you get something different. Change the shot up. Make it look cool. Try to include the logo. Try to include some of the details of the car. And you're going to get something that looks awesome. I wanted to show you with the video. If you haven't checked that out, I'll leave a link right here. You can check it out. Click on that on screen. Uh, and check out some of the photos in the Flickr set. And if you guys have any from a car show, uh, please share them as well. You know, even in the video, put them down in the comments. Share anything from, you know, recent car events or anything like that. Share your work. That's cool. We can check it out. But that's a car show. It was actually really fun. As I said, I'm not necessarily a car guy, but everyone's got that car. You know, I love the, you know, the Cobra. I love going there to see the Lambos, the Porsches, and everything like that. And even some of the custom stuff that they had uh, that you could check out in the Flickr set as well. So that's my experience at the 2014 car show. Eric Ross to the guy with the eye. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. And if you checked out the montage, hopefully you liked that as well. And as I said, I just want to give you first hand, uh, my first hand experience and to tell you to watch out for some of the things, especially the green haze that goes on in the photos. You're going to need to pull that back um, in editing because that wasn't that good in that spot. But once again, depends on the venue. That's all I got. Keep an eye out for cars. Ah.